former Democratic candidate for governor of Florida, Andrew Gillum, is back in the news. And it's not for what you think. He's facing decades in jail for fraud. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and sometimes politics. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So you know we don't talk a lot about pop culture unless pop culture meets politics or meets sports or meets they going to jail. So as you know, Andrew Gillum was run, ran for governor of Florida, and it seemed as if he was going to win, but he didn't. And we feel sorry for you, Florida, but it's okay. It's all right. You voted for him. Um, so Andrew Gillum since then had a public scandal. He was in that whole to hotel room with that gay man that, okay, there's... I'm not going to rehash that, but he was caught in the hotel hotel room where there was drugs being done. No word on whether or not Andrew Gillum was a part of that. You may have seen a recent interview that Andrew did with uh, Tamron Hall where he talked about this with his wife. That's a whole other situation, but it's important to keep this in mind when we talk about what he's being accused of now. So according to this new report from NBC News, Andrew Gillum is facing decades in jail for fraud in relation to his campaign. They report this over at Complex. Florida Democrat Andrew Gillum, who lost the 2018 governor's race to Ron DeSantis, is now facing decades in prison. According to NBC News, federal prosecutors have hit the former Tallahassee mayor with, 20, with a 21-count indictment alleging wire fraud conspiracy, and making false statements. Andrew Gillum's longtime advisor, Sharon Letman Hicks, also is being accused in this indictment as well. So the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Florida announced the campaign-related charges yesterday, stating that Gillum and Letman Hicks illegally solicit funds, quote, through false and fraudulent promises and representations that the funds would be used for a legitimate purpose. Prosecutors say the defendants concocted a plan that would divert the money to companies owned by Letman Hicks, who would then funnel the funds to Andrew Gillum for his personal use. The alleged scheme reportedly took place between 2016 and 2019 during his a race for governor of Florida. Both Gillum and Letman Hicks were surrendered to the FBI yesterday and made their first court appearance later that day. So Andrew Gillum is denying these allegations and he believes that this has nothing to do with any sort of any sort of legitimate claims. He's saying that it's political. So this is what Andrew Gillum, the former mayor of Tallahassee, said in a statement. He says, I have spent the last 20 years of my life in public service and continue to fight for the people. Gillum said in a statement to NBC News, every campaign I've run has been done with integrity. Just not the, so no integrity for your wife? Anyways. Make no mistake that this case is not legal, it is political. He says, throughout my career, I have always stood up for the people of Florida and have spoken truth to power. There's been a target on my back ever since I was the mayor of Tallahassee. They found nothing then, and I have full confidence that my legal team will prove my innocence now. So in regards to what he's referring to, there was another case that was brought against Gillum when he was mayor of Tallahassee. Gillum was also the subject of a Operation Capital Currency in 2015, federal probe that looked into alleged public corruption in Tallahassee. He ultimately settled the charges by agreeing to pay a $5,000 ethics fine. And look, that doesn't mean that you're guilty. We've talked about this before. Sometimes it's just easier and cheaper to cop a plea versus fighting the case. So just keep that in mind, all right? It's not me twerking on a fence. That's just really what a lawyer will advise. You can spend way more than $5,000. And if you know attorneys, you will spend more than $5,000 or you can just pay the $5,000 and we can move on. So Gillum's attorneys released a statement in regards to these charges. They said the government got it wrong today. The evidence in this case is clear and will show that Mr. Gillum is innocent of all charges. We look forward to putting this case to rest and giving Andrew and his family peace of mind once and for all. 
According to the Department of Justice, Andrew Gillum could face a 45-year prison sentence if found guilty of the charges. So I'm going to twerk on offense because if we didn't have what we had before and probably, thank goodness, he didn't win in Florida because then we had that whole situation at the hotel with the with the gay man and the drugs and all that. But then, then again, maybe he wouldn't have been there if he was governor because he says that he was in a bad place during that time. And m maybe this campaign fund situation, look, it did smell political for me. When, especially when we talk about Florida and what's going on politically in Florida. Ever since Governor DeSantis became the governor of that state, there's been a lot of stuff coming out of Florida, even though there's been a lot of stuff coming out of Florida for a long time. You guys have some of the weirdest news. I don't know what is in the water in Florida. No shade. I got plenty of family that lives in Florida and friends. But there's a lot of crazy stories that come out of Florida, both in everyday news, but also political news. So I wouldn't be surprised that this is not a legal situation and it's more political. Because is Andrew Gillum looking to run again? Because if he isn't, then what would be the purpose of this? Just revenge? Maybe. But if he's not seeking political office in Florida, at least not to our knowledge, we don't know. He could be working behind the scenes to run again for governor. I don't know if that's a good idea. Especially with everything that's happened. But then again, should that erase all of the good that Andrew Gillum has done in his local city of Tallahassee, what he could have done for the state of Florida? That was a very close race. It was it was contested. To, that was a close race. Florida was like, we're not sure. And apparently, ever since then, Things have not been looking good for Andrew Gillum. He's facing 45 years in prison if this is proven right. I'm going to keep an eye on this story. There's not a lot of political stories that we keep on, but when we've talked about the whole him getting caught in the hotel room, now I feel an obligation to just to keep an eye out to see how this goes because this would be pretty bad. This would be pretty bad, but I wouldn't be surprised that his political adversaries are looking for a way to discredit him because maybe he is looking to run for office again in Florida. You never know. So many of these other politicians get, you know, do all of this craziness, even worse than what happened with Andrew Gillum, yet they're running for public office. Some have, have run for public office and won, and some were the president of the United States. Guys, I wanna know your thoughts especially those that are in Florida. How do you guys feel about Andrew Gillum? How do you guys feel about the fact that he lost and then he had this public scandal and now this new public scandal? Look, you know what they say here in the United States, you are innocent until proven guilty. We shall see. Let's continue that conversation below. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.